taking away the World Cup final and maybe the Champions League final, this is the biggest game in, in, in the world. Coach Laudrup, good to see you again. I'm, I'm happy to be here. What's it like here to live and to coach? Well, let's start to uh, about the coaching. I, I think that football is is worldwide. It's universal. At, I, I mean, if you are in in Spain, in Denmark, in Qatar, in, in Great Britain, uh, there can be different styles of football uh, and all that, different cultures on the pitch, outside the pitch. But in the end, football is football. It's quite nice. Uh, it's not like uh, when I was in in Spain. I did it more because Cruyff was there. Cruyff and Beckenbauer was my two idols from my youth. Now, look what Barcelona has achieved since '89. It's incredible. But at that time, it was not internationally. It was not a big club because uh, Madrid was the club number one by far in, in Spain and uh, Barcelona. Yes, it was the second or third, but they never they won only a league every seven or eight years. And look now, uh, how many titles they have had for the last yeah. Uh, 28 years. When you come to a place and the most important game for them is to beat the rival, I understand what they mean, but for me the most important thing, if you are a top team, is to, is to win trophies. If you ask me, what do you prefer, to win a trophy and lose both games in the league to your, eh, or the other way around, to beat them twice and to, of course, I, 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 there's no doubt in my mind, I lose the two and I get the trophy. But at that time it was a little different. If we can beat Madrid, and it's, it must, it's, this is the most important. The game in itself, it's not difficult, because every time you go out of your door, uh, you will meet people who say, oh, we have to win this game. You, have to. you know what is more, imp what is more difficult? The, the one or two games before the Clásico are more difficult, because people, they don't care about these games. You can say, yeah, but we have, we have to play uh, this game on Saturday. Yeah, 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 of course, but it's the other one, you know. So even a couple, one or two weeks before, they start to talk. So, of course, when you, you meet people all over, and it's in Madrid or Barcelona or wherever, wherever it is, they only talk about this game. Many times I've been asked, what, can you compare the team you had at that time with, with the team of of Rijkaard or Pep or even now and said, I think these teams, Pep's teams for sure, also Rijkaard's team with Ronaldinho and a young Messi and, and Eto, I think maybe they were all better than our team. But our team have or had something that you can never take away. We were the first. To win 5-0 in football is not normal. Second, to win 5-0 in Barca Madrid or Madrid Barca, that's even less normal. And then that it happens in 12 months, eh? one to one team and one to the other. and that you are in the, in the winning team both times, that's incredible. Some years later, and I'm at the airport in, in, in Valencia, and there was a father coming to me with his son, and his son must have been yeah, around 10, 12 years old, so maybe he was born when I stopped playing football. And the father asked if he can take a photo with me, and I said, uh, yeah, of course. And then he said, okay, to his son, this player, he was a very good player, and, said, and before he could end his sentence, the boy looked at his father and he said, 5050. Zero, five zero. And that was the only, he did not mention my name, he just said 5050. Zero, five zero, and that was just uh, a very special moment. Uh, to be honest, it was not so nice for me when I came back uh, with the Real Madrid shows uh, first year to Camp Nou, 100,000 people. They were, because we could win the, the, the league that day if we win against Barcelona. And 100,000, uh, they were booing at me every time I touched the ball, it was not, uh, it was not the nicest. Another reason uh, why I all, also this game in the last maybe seven, eight years has been, or ten, has been the biggest games, of course, because the two best players for the last maybe ten years on the planet 
uh, they play one in Barcelona and one in Madrid. So a part of being uh, rivals in, in the league, in the Champions League, they also have that which everybody likes, also the press. We have the two best players competing, who scores the most goals, who wins the most trophies, who wins the most uh, Ballon de Oro and, and all that. And at, at my time, it was in Spain. Everybody talked about this game. But nowadays it's different. Now it's the whole world. Thank you.